All right, so you're getting interviewed for an activist podcast. So I already asked you, but I'll ask you again for the camera. Are you an activist? No, I'm just a political observer. Okay. So what, um, what does that mean, political observer? Somebody who uh, follows politics mm -hmm. and, you know, analyzes trends. And so what do you, uh, what do, you do if you feel like a political trend is not good? What, what actions do you take? Well, you can, be, you can become politically involved, you know. But no, but what do you do? Um, or has that never happened? Yes, of course. Uh, it happened once. Um, what was that? Foreign policy. Uh, the Cuban American, you know, the, the embargo against Cuba. Yeah. So the way I, I perform my activism was by trying to uh, change public opinion. And the way I did that was through the internet. I went to the internet and I uploaded a video on YouTube. Uh, and in that video, I argue persuasively to lift the embargo against Cuba. And I, you know, put up the cons and the pros and I tried to reach as many people as I can and let them know about it and hopefully many people will change their minds and that will translate into votes and that will change something. Well, that turned out pretty well, didn't it, eventually? I mean, the, the public opinion is shifting to, towards normalization, yeah. slowly. It's a momentum. So do you feel like, um, has it like been mission accomplished for the, the Cuban concern, or do you feel like there's still a ways oh, to there, go? There's, there's still a long way to go uh, in terms of normalizing the relationship between Cuba and the United States. Uh, there are many outstanding issues, such as uh, the embargo against Cuba, human rights violations, uh, democracy in Cuba, the compensation of uh, private property that was uh, nationalized by the Castro government. Yeah, there's there's tons of issues that need to be addressed, but uh, uh, they will be addressed in time, I believe. Great. Are there any other, any issues at all besides the one we've already discussed that you would want to say anything about to the world if they were listening right now? Uh, other than that, um, in terms of politics, I would say uh, to fight against the, tra the trend of the merging of corporate and state power and uh, multinationals and uh, uh, financial elites and conglomerations of powers that work outside of governments uh, to influence policy. I believe that the people of the nation have to decide the course of the nation and uh, I am a strong believer in that political linkage between the people and the government and that, that's a an American value that you can see in the Constitution, of course. And I'm afraid that uh, slowly that, that link between the government and the government is being eroded. And that's an issue that I feel strongly about. Awesome. All right, well, thanks for uh, giving us your two cents you're right welcome. now. You're welcome, thanks. Do you want to say your name or where you're from? Or Yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm Aristides Armas, and I'm a Cuban immigrant. I came here in 2002. And, uh, I've been here for 15 years now. All right, great, thanks.